So, Mr. Goodman, please, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your work and your research, please? Yes. Um, I work in Michigan, in the United States, and our work is around helping schools to improve outcomes for students mm -hmm. um, and outcomes with behavior and also with their reading academic skills. Mm -hmm. And we invest in systems to make sure that um, students will receive appropriate instruction, mm -hmm. teachers can deliver appropriate instruction, mm -hmm. and that um, this work will be sustained mm -hmm. uh, over time. Perfect, thank you very much. And uh, can you t tell us please or recommend what uh, we shall do if we want to improve do the professional skills of the teachers uh, for the work with the children with behavior problems yes. or challenge behavior? Yes, so what we believe is you start out understanding what effective practices are for teachers. And what we know, if students will improve, they need to know what the expectations are so we identify three to five expectations for the students. We teach expectations, so we do not leave it to chance. Mm -hmm. We make sure the students understand what these uh, behavior expectations are. We monitor, we watch to make sure the students are engaged in appropriate behavior. Then we will acknowledge or reinforce, um, make sure we uh, point out students who are behaving well. Um, and for those who are struggling with behavior, we provide corrective consequences, mm -hmm. but we do not provide the consequences without investing in prevention mm -hmm. at the same time. Which groups of the students are uh, in danger? Who are the, the, the children with uh, behavior problems uh, the most frequently? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us please something about sure. this? So students who are at risk, um, there are a variety of factors that contribute to that. Um, what we understand it could be the environment mm -hmm. um, for students who are struggling with um, poverty mm -hmm. or with uh, uh, communities mm -hmm. that are, are challenging, um, they may be more at risk. We also know that it is um, academic skills. So if students who do not perform academically well will struggle and perhaps engage in more problem behavior. What are the most effective strategies and uh, the measures uh, in some concrete way which are important to use in work with these groups of the students? Um, what, what we are finding is the uh, teaching the expectation is very important, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but for students who struggle, they will need more frequent feedback. Mm -hmm. They may need more precise um, instruction to understand what appropriate behavior mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and what it is not. Mm -hmm. They will need um, increased um, acknowledgement mm -hmm. um, to make sure reinforcement or reward. Mm -hmm. um, and they also uh, will need um, more practice mm -hmm. and engage in appropriate behavior. Mm -hmm. Other strategies would involve um, just the um, classroom arrangement mm -hmm. How do you set the environment? And also the uh, good instruction. Mm -hmm. Make sure that students are successful academically. Mm -hmm. Will improve behavior. Thank you. It's perfect. Thank you very oh. much.